since this is really weird, we have just landed in Papua New Guinea. Uh, if only we could count layovers, but we don't count them unfortunately. So where else we have been that we're not counting? Russia, Ukraine, and here. Three countries that we cannot count, unfortunately. But we still have stepped our feet here in Papua New Guinea, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> So then we're gonna transfer to go for our Brisbane flight. A little bit of history here. Look at that. Four four days. Super, super interesting. To land, you can pretty much run to the transfer deck because everyone is lining up. And then you're gonna get Wi-Fi which is their own little like code on itself and there's a coffee shop right here in addition to this souvenir shop <laughs> So that's pretty much the airport in Papua New Guinea. Um, we're gonna go to gate number two to catch a flight. I do every time I come back, but my two favorite things. Let's go get them. Chocolate breaker. Sherry run. Both native to Australia. Really? You're not gonna save me any? Okay, so I just had my very first driving experience back in back in Australia and I must admit the last two or three years ago I've been driving on the other side of the road and on the other side of the car so we're totally flipping things around I freaked out a little bit when I um, when I got on a roundabout I slammed on the brakes I thought I was going the wrong way and it turns out I was going the right way so a couple little things like that but uh, other than that uh, fairly smooth sailing one of the places I go every single time first up when I'm back in Australia is to a local bakery. They're full of baked goods, meat pies, sausage rolls, custard tart, jam cream buns, gingerbread men. Um, oh, the list could actually go on for ages, but it's the first thing I do and it's the one thing that makes me feel like I'm back home again. I am in absolute heaven here. I have so many baked goods to choose from. I do not even know where to start. I'm pretty sure I know where I'll finish. A few moments later. Hey man, what you got there? I got a steak, bacon and cheese meat pie and that's something that Mitch always does when he gets back home and I'm part of it. I gotta eat this, it's so good. Where's the ketchup? God, no, you don't have ketchup with those ones. Why not? Because there's so much flavor in it, see? Can you feel it? I feel a lot of ketchup. And how about the other two? Very nice. Damn it, you've forgotten the, the coffee drink. Not just any coffee drink. What, would, what is it? It is a iced coffee triple shot and Mitch's favorite cookie. I think it's like 40% coffee, 
cookie dough. Yeah, dough. that's it. You're right. You're right. Forty percent <laughs> cookie dough. Yeah. So, oh, so all comfort stuff. food while editing our vlog. <laughs> oh, so good. Look at that steak, bacon, and cheese. Thank you. Mm. This is the one kitchen. Can you get some ketchup? Okay. One eternity later. Ooh, good morning. Here we are at the Brisbane domestic airport. And it is so cold. We're gonna take a flight with Virgin Australia going over to Sydney, where we will have a mini layover before flying out to New Caledonia. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are at the Brisbane domestic airport and since there is no lounge for using our priority pass, we had vouchers, $36 per person. Look at all we got. Avo and Toast, which is $17. What a steal. $3 bacon, $3 poche, $10 frappe, $12 this, $10 this, and two coffees at six bucks. That wasn't even $72. At 10 o'clock we arrived in Sydney um, we're gonna go get our luggage and then transfer terminals because we're at the domestic terminal go to the international terminal and chill at the lounge until the flight and that's our beautiful bag let's see how quick Mitch is gonna run and he is he's gonna make it to the frame I don't think he will okay how do we get to the international one all right so we're getting a thing called the t-bus that gives us free international from domestic to international, I'm just gonna find where the T bus goes from. Over there, let's go. T bus. There you go, our flight to New Caledonia. Let's do this. A transfer bus and go straight to the Meridian Numia. So Numia is the capital of New Caledonia and we cannot wait to see some of this place.
So here we are, we finally made it to La Meridian in Noumea in New Caledonia. After a two and a half hour flight from Sydney, we arrived, took a one hour bus to get here, and here we are. We're staying in the resort suite room. Let me show you around. Okay, over here we have a mountain of space. So we don't, didn't bring many things, so we've got way too much space here. Even our own ironing board. Come, come, come. Over here, more exciting things. Showers, toilet, but, 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 have a look at this. I'm six foot one. And there is space for me in here. This never happens. So we are going to have many baths. Okay. A big double vanity. There's a really nice product as well. You come over here, you've got a rough big bed. Always comfortable. Yeah. And then the rest of the room opens completely up. So that is the end of it. We actually have our own living space and study space over here as well. And a swinging TV or a mirror. Okay. We have a little bit of a kitchen area over here. We've got some lovely. 2017 Merlot for us to have as a little bit of a welcome to coming here. But I want to show you this. Actually, we'll have to show in the morning, right? Oh, so good though. All right, we'll show you in the morning. All right, this is what it looks like. Here we go, this is it. We've got water this side, water that side. Have a look at this. We've got some kind surfers out here. I'd like to love you, love you. I'd like to love you.